Hello, I hope this video finds you well. Tonight's night 18 in my recording of a coding bat solution. Every night schools are closed. And tonight we're going to look at array front 9 in warm up 2, and this is the Python solution. So, whether you're a student of mine or someone just out there learning to code, let's dive in. Give an array of ints return true if one of the first four elements in the array is 9. The array length may be less than 4. And so, this is a really important line here because it's telling you that there is a possibility we could have a list um, that's less than four. Now I just want to highlight a language thing here. I'm going to refer to this as a list because in Python these are actually called lists, but this question is called array front line. So for the purposes of this, you can use the word array and list interchangeably. All right, um, so we can look at this first example here and we see that this returns true, and that's because in the list a nine is in the third element is the third element in index 2. Um, and the second example returns false because though there is a 9, it appears in the fifth element. And the final example returns false because there is no 9. So with this problem, there's two big things we want to really kind of highlight. The first thing is that the function can, the function can exit as soon as a 9 is found. So when you're thinking about problem solving questions like this, you kind of want to ask yourself is, as soon as I find what I want, can I stop? And if you think about that, it really helps kind of troubleshooting these. And in this case, the answer is yes. If you find a 9 in those first four elements, you're done. The second thing is we only want to loop through the first four elements, or if the list is smaller, just the length. So we have to write some conditional logic here at the start, um, or write a little, use a little shorthand to figure out which is smaller, the, the, the length 4 or the length of the list. And that's just a little overkill there. I don't need that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to type this. I'm going to use the min function. I'm going to return min 3, comma length of nums. Now, obviously, this is not going to give us the right answer. What you'll notice is that, oh, that should be 4 nums. There you go. Sorry. Um, what that's going to do is it's going to return 4 if the length is bigger than 4. And if the length is smaller than 4, like this case, you'll see that it returns the length. And what I can do is instead of returning that, I'm going to store that in a variable. And I'm going to call that L. Then I simply use that in my loop to check all the elements. So I say for i in range, and I'm going to start at index 0, and I'm going to go to L, and I'm going to increment by 1. And now the loop runs appropriately. If the length is bigger than 4, it's going to go through those first four elements. And if it's smaller than 4, it will just go through the length of the list. And so now what I'm going to do is I am going to put an if statement, and I'm going to say if nums at i is equivalent to 9, and if that's the case, I'll return true, and otherwise I will return false. And I hit go, and there it goes. Now, I want to highlight that I like this shorthand, it's nice, but you could equally do this using a conditional statement. So I could, if I comment this out for a second, I could say, okay, let's assume that the length is going to be 4, and then I'm going to say if the length of nums is less than 4, we're going to say that length is the length of nums. Oh, that's greater than. Is less than 4, then we're going to make it the length. And notice it still works, and it's just accomplishing the same thing using this conditional statement. All right, so let's comment this out, and let's do this as a one-liner. Now, is it necessary? No but it does highlight some nice techniques. And a technique I want to show you is it turns out with lists in Python, you can use the same substring notation. So watch this. If I do this, if I say return nums, and I use that same 0, colon, 4, and I hit go, notice, obviously it's not right, but what it's giving me is it's giving me the first four elements, and in the case that the length is smaller than 4, it gives me just what's there. So now the question is, can I easily check if, if there is a 9 in this, in this list? And the answer is yes. There's a lovely shorthand notation in Python using it called the in notation. And if I say in 9 in nums 0 to 4, that's just simply saying is, is there a 9 in the first four elements? And there it is. So I hope this video helped. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Have a wonderful day.